Hey guys, what's up? It's Ardick here, Old School Duelist 12, coming at you with another deck profile. I'm trying to get these videos up and going. Uh, you're going to see videos from uh, D more often. Um, sorry, there was something on the screen. But I'm here with a really a random deck profile. Um, this is for like you Yu-Gi-Oh players that want to play, don't have the money, like don't have the money to spend on outrageous amounts of cards. This is a pretty cheap deck. Uh, oh, let me phrase that. It's an extremely cheap deck. Um, and it's definitely, it's nothing, like, powerful. Uh, it's more of a, like, 1900 beat stick deck. All the monsters, or, like, all the monsters that you normally would use, or that are the main monsters, uh, they're just, like, 19 beat sticks. Um, so we're going to jump right into it. We're playing two Alexandrite Dragon. Uh, you know, it's 2,000 attack, four, uh, level 4. Uh, then we're playing 2 Luster Dragon, 1 Gladiator Beast Andal, and 1 Insect Knight. These are, uh, like the main, the main cards you will s use and see. Uh, they're, it's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, they're all, like, basic beaters. Um, uh, and then here's, like, the support, the support monsters that, uh, that are used to, like, stall. We're gonna we run three man eater bug, two card guard because card guard too strong in this deck. Not even it's ba really basic. This is the most basic deck I've ever built in my life. One uh, breaker the magical magician or magical warrior. Sorry, my bad. One magician of face. One needle worm. One obnoxious Celtic guardian. Uh, I have a pretty good combo with ob obnoxious Celtic guardian. Um, one penguin soldier, one sonic chick, and a gyroid. Um, like I said, these cards are like the stall stuff out deck if you just uh, to build up for big plays. Uh, and then I run three tuners in the deck, two, one toon warrior and three uh, two magna draco. And then the big monster of the deck, uh, tyrant dragon. Tyrant dragon is good. Uh, another card that you could all also side out for the deck. Or not side out. Uh, change out in the deck is Chilatron Dragon. Um, this is I built this deck mainly because it's a birthday present for uh, for for somebody who wants to play, but they don't really like have the cards. So I built this basic deck for them. Um, it's nothing too crazy. I personally, I mean, it might hold, it might humor people uh, at locals, uh, but it's nothing too uh, outrageous. It's not expensive. But I run Tyrant Dragon um, for this, and, uh, or like I prefer Gachilatron Dragon, um, but I just don't have a Gachilatron Dragon that uh, that I'm that I'm just willing to just give away because that's what this deck is. I'm just giving this deck away to uh, to somebody for their birthday. Uh, that takes care of all the monsters. Uh, here we go with the spells. It's very um, spell. Not, it's not spell heavy. It's not a lot of spells actually. I run three Axe of Despair because Axe of Despair actually um, is really powerful in this basic deck. And then for the draw power of the deck, Magical Mallet because you kind of need the back row support. Uh, and then one Air Traffic Control and one uh, Soul Exchange. Um, like I said, this deck is very basic. That's why it runs three Axe of Despair. And Axe of Despair is actually... Insane powerful. Now uh, that takes care of the spells. Like I said, it was pretty basic. Uh, this deck is really trap heavy, only for the fact that uh, I'm using generic staples, and I'm not talking like MST. I'm talking about like the if you don't have this, you have this. So uh, I'm on three. Wow, I'm on three dust tornado. Uh, this is the MST of the deck. Uh, two shield type or spell shield type eight. Um, it's the equivalent of a, a Forbidden Lance of the deck. Uh, two Divine Wrath. Uh, it's the equivalent of a Fiendish Chain. Um, and then two Call the Haunted. It's the equivalent of a Call the Haunted. Uh, one Sakuratsu Armor. It's a, uh, the equivalent of a uh, Mirror Force, but it's just smaller. Um, and one Bottomless Trap Hole. Um, bottomless Trap Yeah, Bottomless Trap Hole, because Bottomless Trap Hole. Um... But yeah, uh, that's why this is that's what this, this is why it's really trap heavy, is because I don't want to give it, I don't want to drop my staples, so I dropped these are some uh, filler staples 
that I see that uh, that people run that you can run run blah, blah, that you can run if you don't have the stuff you need. Um, so like I said, MSTs, Forbidden Lances, Fiendish Chains, Call the Haunted, Mirror Force, uh, Bottomless. And then for the extra deck, uh, the extra deck is really generic. It's nothing, like I said, uh, again, the theme of this deck is very basic, not too powerful, or not ext not uh, meta powerful. But like I said, it can hold its own against meta decks. I run one Sacred Warrior. Uh, one Michael Arch Lord Warrior, or uh, the Arch Light Sworn, one Lightning Warrior, uh, one Gachi Gachi Ganasutsu, one Gem Knight Pearl, and one Wind Up Zen Meister. Um, the deck is uber basic. It is very basic. Um, and it, it's cheap. It's super cheap. It's dirt cheap. So, uh, if you like, if you like, if you want to, if you want to get into Yu-Gi-Oh, and you, your parents are like, I'm not spending that, all that money on it, you can show, you could uh, figure all this stuff out, obviously you can just go to tcgplayer.com, and show them that this deck, I, I haven't looked up too much prices on it, uh, but I'd imagine the deck is, um, uh, Probably like 30 bucks. 20, 30 bucks. It's definitely. It, without the extra deck, I'd actually honestly try to say it's almost le, uh, around 10. Uh, if you really, if you really want to try and stick it to them, that you want to play Yu Gi Oh! And it's really. Uh, you can even show them this video. And I'm just going to just basically say it's a relaxing game. Uh, it. You know, it shows strategy, uh, building, uh, it calls, it kills time, uh, definitely gives you a small hobby to do so your child's not, like, being crazy, um, for all those parents that are like, oh my god, but, uh, and then also, for you Yu-Gi-Oh players that try to help out your friends, show them this deck profile, and give them any cards you can do to help them out. To start them out with something, and obviously with this deck, you can. There is so much playroom. Uh, not playroom. I'll uh, build room. So if they want to try something different in the deck, if they want to throw this and throw that in there, get better cards. Um, it's definitely a huge starter deck, and like I said, uh, it's just for fun. It's really, really for fun deck. Um, so I guess so. Hope you guys have a good uh, morning, night, day thing. Uh, thank you and have a wonderful night. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.